Hello everybody, my name is Arv Khan, I'm with Bidgely.org, and today we're going to be covering a very cool feature in ClickUp. Uh, a lot of you might not know about this because it's very tiny, it lives in the right hand corner of your screen, and it's a feature that, we, that a lot of us probably don't use because it's so small we don't see it. But this small little tool is jam packed with a lot of features, so let's jump right into it. I created uh, this Bidgely pl Playground with a uh, test project here and I have some tasks for us to kind of go over and see. If you're looking at your workspace in your ClickUp space, whether you are you have the um, desktop app or you're in the web app, uh, the place to go is in this bottom right-hand corner. Uh, you have this plus task feature. This is just to be able to quickly create a task. Uh, from here, you can even assign people. Right next to it, you'll see this icon. If you select this icon, you'll see the, you'll see the task tray and you wanna pin this item here. Okay, um, and I'm also going to pin uh, the notepad. We'll cover the other items um, after, but these are probably the coolest items that we have. So I have the, the, the task tray uh, pinned. And let's say, for example, you have task A. And this is a task that you're going to be working on constantly throughout the week. You don't want to have to keep jumping in and out of your list to keep accessing this task, right? Or maybe having a separate tab open. I always do that. I have a task open in a different tab so I can easily access it. What you want to do is this. When you have that task that you always have to look at, when you know maybe there's special notes in there or there's like a set of, there's a checklist and you just want to have a quick and easy way to kind of get to it. If you click on this option here on the top right corner of the task, um, window next to the close window icon you'll see a minimize task icon and what this does is if you click it it'll pin it in the task tray so I know it just looks like it's, it's down here but what happens is is if you navigate to your home or if you continue your work in another in another uh, dashboard or if you go to a dashboard or if you go to another space let's say let me go here this is another space uh, test space that we have you still have access to this task. So if you're required to kind of jump around to complete this task or to get information for this task, that's why it's so important to use this feature because then you don't, you don't have to go back and forth and this will save you so much time. Um, I'm always using this feature. It's such a great small feature, but it's very powerful. And a lot of people don't know about it. It's a very cool um, thing to use. And what's great is you can, you can um, basically minimize or I like to pin it, call it a pinning, uh, pin multiple tasks at the bottom of it. So you can do that. And what's also really cool is if we go back to the task here, let's, let me just go from here. If we go to my project A, and let's say I have this document here. So this document, let's say, has uh, standard SOPs, and I'm kind of creating the, a list of SOPs, but I want to go into other spaces and be able to jump around because I'm kind of reviewing their spaces or reviewing um, other tasks, and I need to make notes for those. So this doesn't only work. This this feature doesn't only work for uh, tasks. It's for documents as well. So you can actually add docs to your tree too, and it's the same thing again. You can easily jump around, you can go to your home, you can go to other spaces, and you still have access to these documents in your tray. And it's, it's again, it's a really cool feature, it really saves time, and you can really um, maximize your efficiency by using this uh, feature. And it's a very powerful feature as well. So if we continue with this, um, let me get back to that space here. Oops, I'll just go from the task again in my task tray. Again, a very easy way to do it. We can kind of look at the other items we can pin. So here, um, I pin the notepad. So this is probably, honestly, my favorite um, feature in this whole task tray option area is the notepad. I'm working in multiple workspaces. Um, I work, we, we work with multiple clients, um, uh, onboarding them onto ClickUp. And what's great is I can have um, a list of items for those clients in a notepad. And you should think of this notepad as something that you're carrying around. So this is specific to the user profile. It's not specific to the workspace. So what that means is you can go from one workspace to another workspace within this, um, with, with this notepad. So for example, if I'm working in my visually workspace and I jump into another workspace, 
all of my notes in this notepad will still be there. The task tray obviously won't be there because those tasks are within that workspace. They're not going to transfer over, right? But this notepad is, this is my personal notepad. And it's great because I can have like small notes, you know, for certain clients. Uh, let's say like uh, I have their, their workflow for their sales funnel. So first they, um, you know, contact a lead and then they nurture a lead and then they close the sale. Oops, my spelling is horrendous. And like, this is just like something standard um, that, that, that you can use and it just lives here. And it's always something very useful for me. And I feel like it's something that's not used by a lot of people, but you can really, you can use this and it save you a lot of time and actually kind of keep you more organized. Now, if you kind of hover over the notepad, one of the uh, notes that you created, you can rename it, you can archive it, you can delete it. And then what's cool is you can even convert it to a task or a document. So for example, here, um, I, I had this, where, where, where did it go? In the important notes, I had this three, these three steps. So let's say I wanna create, convert it to a task. It'll automatically change that to a description. And then the, um, the title of that note will be the task name from there which is really cool. And similarly, you can do that with um, converting it to a, uh, a document as well. So when you convert it to a doc, it'll basically create the doc. I mean, it doesn't really create the doc for you, but it you know creates a title and it has your, your main body there as well. Um, so that's very cool. And, and, a lot, and a lot of people don't really know about this um, and they find, about, find out about it and are always shocked. I just showed it to one of um, our project coordinators and they were just, kind of amazed by this feature because they didn't know about it. So um, that's one of my favorite features with this whole task tray option is the notepad. And some other quick options to look, in, look into is here, I'll just pin all these, is recording the, your clips. Uh, you can create documents here. Whoops, here, let me just pin all these. And when you're pinning these, what it's doing is uh, it's living down here. So uh, for example, like I pinned everything, so that means it's all living down here. And, and you don't wanna really pin everything, to be honest. Uh, you kind of wanna just pin a few things because what's gonna happen is it's, you're gonna get really busy down here and that's something you don't want. So just for, for the purpose of showing you guys, I kind of have everything pinned. So here you can record a clip. I'm not gonna cl uh, cl click on this right now because I'm recording. But I did record before this, and I, and what it does is ClickUp basically um, ha creates the the v the video file, and you can either create a task or you can copy the link and paste it within a task. Um, you have options to copy the link and then obviously open it in a new tab as well. And this is a really good feature to use. Let's say, for example, like a good use case for this is like you're trying to explain something, uh, a task. And you're you're kind of screen recording maybe like a Google Sheets, and you're you're walking them walking them through a flow that somebody needs to understand, or the assignee, or or somebody who's looking at at this task, for example, or it could even be like a screen recording of um, of you explaining like a certain process to them, or explaining the task to them. So you can you can record that, and you can copy the link here. You can even create the task from that. Uh, the next really cool feature is tracking time. You can really easily track time uh, when you have this. This is actually one of the other features that I have pinned uh, because I can easily start tracking time. Um, you can do it, you can select a task or you can even create a new task and track and you can obviously manually enter time and then select your time ranges as well. Um, here you have the options for billable if you have um, that feature. Uh, if you're organ if you're if you're set up that way, and then you can even have add descriptions to the time as well, and this is a really good uh, feature to keep pinned because uh, the timer will live down here, and you know once you start the timer, you can easily go back and forth from here. Uh, reminders: this one is very pretty straightforward. Any reminders you create here, they're going to be living in your home. Uh, you can set a certain reminder date. You can delegate, uh, you can have the notification on or off. Obviously for the reminder, you wanna keep that on and then you can even create attachments. And then the documents here. So you can easily create new docs. And again, let's say I created this doc here. Let's say test document. And I can easily just pin it and I have it pinned in the task tray. And then obviously you have your calendar. 
Um, if you use your ClickUp calendar, you can have it pinned uh, down here so you can easily view it if you're managing your um, clients through, your, through the ClickUp calendar. All right, and that's the feature. Uh, the ClickUp task tree, again, is a very powerful tool for you guys to use. And it's one of those tools where if you don't know about it, you're not using it. And it has all of these features jam-packed in that small little tool set. Uh, you have your task tray again, you have op ability to record, screen recording, sorry, you have the ability to make notes, create documents, create tasks, uh, view your calendar, create reminders, and the list goes on. So you're able to do a lot in this small tool. It's jam-packed, like I said before. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. You can reach out to us directly, going to bisley.org. And if you do need help, uh, with automations or you need help setting up your ClickUp, Monday, Asana, um, or even Salesforce or any other tool that you're using, feel free to reach out to us. We are experts and we can help you and we can walk you through that. So thank you for watching.